Hello, first grade friends. I'm going to show you how to get to our Google Classroom where we'll have activities posted for you to do. So you will log on with your badge to your computer. So you know to click on the circle at the bottom and then you will see your Google page. Then over here you see Gmail and you see this little, um, some people call it a waffle or Rubik's cube. If you click on that, you can also get to the, you'll see the letter. That's your, that's your email. Okay. You can click there and your teacher has sent you an invitation to uh, your classrooms, Google classroom. And then if you look, if you scroll down, there will be a chalkboard. So later, after you have accepted the invitation in your email, when you want to go back to your classroom, you'll scroll down, you'll go to that Rubik's Cube, and you'll scroll down and go to the chalkboard and click on the chalkboard, and then your classrooms will show up there. When you click that, you'll, you'll be able to see your classrooms. So here's an example. So this is Miss White's. Wild, White's Wildcats classroom. So you'll see, this is what it will look like when you open up your Google Classroom. And if you look at the top, there's three choices, stream, classwork, and people. So when you first open it up, it will be on stream. And assignments and activities will be posted here, but we would like for you to always go to classwork at the top, it's the one in the middle. And there will be some topics over here on the left. And we have week one, that will be this week's activities will be here. Mr. Mahika has a tab for activities um, for his. And I think he also has a Google Classroom he's inviting you to also. There's a specials tab. There's some activities for, for art and PE and AE and library. And then there's a Wildcat team time. We have a couple of videos in there for you. So if you click where it says week one, this is where you'll start. And then you'll see that your teacher has posted this assignment for you. And this is called first grade daily slideshow. And this is where we'll, we'll be putting all of your activities. So you click on that link, it looked like a notebook, and it may take it a few moments to load. You'll have to be patient and just wait for a few seconds. It's a little slow. So you will see the slides over on the left. You'll see they're numbered, number one, number two, number three, number four, and it keeps going. So we have some different things for you on these different slides. It looks like a notebook. So there's a page with the links, some of the links that we'll be using, the ones I've talked to you about the chalkboard and the, the email, and then some that you'll recognize, iReady and Epic. There is, on slide number seven, there's story time with your teachers. You can click there and um, listen to your teachers read some stories. Then on slide number eight, it says daily tasks. My computer is a little slow, but you'll click there on daily tasks and then you'll go to the next slide and that will have your activities for reading. 
starting tomorrow. And then if you go to the next slide, it will be math. math activities. And if you'd like your screen to be large, you just click, if you look up at the top, there's a yellow button, but right beside the yellow button, it says present. If you click that, your screen will get larger. My computer's a little slow. So your, yours may be slow also when you try this. So you just have to wait a few moments. Computers having a, okay, there's, so that's what that will look like. And if you want to go back, there's a little button on your keyboard that says ESC for escape. It's on the top left corner. You'll click that and you'll, you can go back to where you'll see all the slides on the, on this left. Thank you for, okay. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I look forward to meeting with you again soon. I hope you um, go into Google Classroom and try these things out and let your teachers know if you have any questions. See you later.